The process for changing the chart paper is generally done daily. The method for changing is simple, but these steps must be followed. First, make sure the chart is in hold. To do that, simply make sure that the pen is parked on the outer edge by pressing the button labeled chart, which is located on the upper right hand corner of the keypad. This is the only button that needs to be used and the display will indicate chart hold. If the pen is sweeping, it's not in hold. Never run the chart without chart paper installed or the pen can be damaged. Lift the pen arm up until it engages in the notch. Lift the existing paper from under the five tabs that hold it in place and remove from the hub. Take a new blank chart from the box and notice that there is writing on one side. This side must be facing out when you install because there is a film on the paper on this side only and will not record if installed upside down. Locate the hub and locator pin in the center of the chart. Turn the paper to match the pin location. And with one hand holding the paper over the hub, use your other hand to put the paper under each of the five tabs and pen. If the paper is not exactly over the pinhole, take the edge of the paper and rotate it until the hole is directly over the pin and press it into place. Never turn the hub or serious damage may happen. The hub itself is stamped on the face, do not turn hub. Once you verify that the paper is correctly installed under the five tabs, press the pen back down so that it is touching the paper. And finally, press the chart button once again and the pen will start sweeping. The first thing the recorder does is to set the legend for the operating parameters of the chart. Once this has finished, the pen will start registering the variables set up in its program. It is advisable to wait until this registration is done before starting the cycle. The system will run, but it will not record the variables until this process is complete. Thank mm -hmm. you.